No man owns the sun. No one can stop you from receiving sunlight. It's just a very spiritual thing for me. I'm a native of Nashville and I saw the big difference in opportunities. I just felt like if I'm gonna start a company, solar was a great way to kind of merge the two. The green economy can address some of our biggest societal issues almost as a silver bullet for trying to tackle improving the environment, employment for people that are underserved and people that are trying to re-enter society. Solar itself creates jobs four times that of the regular economy. There is still a social component there. I'm the only African-American in the state that does this. It doesn't stop me from getting to the sun, but maybe I'd be further along if there were some more established companies that saw me and said, hey, we're gonna bring you in. My name's Bree Nisley. I'm the Tennessee Campaign Manager for Appalachian Voices. We know Jason through our Energy Democracy Program, which is focused on transitioning to clean energy, but doing it in a way that is equitable. I know Jason talks a lot about being the only person of color in the room in advocacy spaces. It just takes a lot of grit, a lot of dedication and passion to do what Jason does where he does it. I think it's about independence. Each individual community would like to have, pun somewhat intended, have our own power to make our own calls and decisions. And why am I the only African American in the state? People need to ask those questions. It's gotta be a way to incentivize people. If I could be a model, then maybe I could be the door to open up opportunities for people who may not otherwise have had those. My name is Jason Carney, and my mission is to give God glory through using the power of solar energy.